Anusvara, Sanskrit, Anusvara, Anusvara is a diacritic dot used to mark a type of nasal sound and used in a number of Indic scripts. It is typically transliterated. Depending on the location of the Anusvara in the word and the language for which it is used, its exact pronunciation can vary. In the context of Sanskrit, Anusvara may also refer also to the nasal sound itself. Sanskrit. Topic. In Vedic Sanskrit, the anusvara lit. After sound, was an allophonic derived nasal sound of uncertain nature. It may have been vowel nasalization accompanied by lengthening, or a nasalized semivowel following the vowel, either way, it resulted in a metrically heavy syllable. It was often an allophone of per meter, at a morpheme boundary, when preceded by a vowel and followed by a fricative, s, 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 h. In later Sanskrit its use expanded to other contexts, first before, r, under certain conditions, then, in classical Sanskrit, before, l, and, y. Later still, Panini gave Anusvara as an alternative pronunciation in word final sandhi, and later treatises also prescribed it at morpheme junctions and within morphemes. Later, the diacritic used to represent Anusvara was optionally used to indicate a nasal stop having the same place of articulation as a following plosive. Topic. Devanagari script Topic. In the Devanagari script, Anusvara is represented with a dot bindu above the letter e mam. In the International Alphabet of Sanskrit Transliteration IAST, the corresponding symbol is m, m with an underdot. Some transcriptions render notation of phonetic variants used in some Vedic shakas with variant transcription m. In writing Sanskrit, the anusvara is often used as an alternative representation of the nasal stop with the same place of articulation as the following plosive. For example, limb of the body may be written with either a conjunct, anga anga, or with an anusvara, anga amga. A variant of the anusvara, the anunasika or kandrabindu, was used more explicitly for nasalized vowels, as in amsa amsa for portion. Topic. Marathi Topic. In Marathi the anusvara is pronounced as a nasal that is homorganic to the following consonant with the same place of articulation. For example, it is pronounced as the dental nasal n before dental consonants, as the bilabial nasal m before bilabial consonants, etc. Topic. Hindi Topic. In standard Hindi, the anusvara is traditionally defined as representing a nasal consonant homorganic to a following plosive, in contrast to the kandrabindu anunasika, which indicates vowel nasalization. In practice, however, the two are often used interchangeably. The precise phonetic value of the phoneme, whether it is represented by anusvara or kandrabindu, is dependent on the phonological environment. Word finally it is realized as nasalization of the preceding vowel, qualm ka tilde, a well. It results in vowel nasalization also medially between a short vowel and a non-obstruent, kumvar kr, a youth, gamrasa a saw, a long-handled axe, and, in native words, between a long vowel and a voiceless plosive damped da tilde t, tooth, samp sa tilde p, a snake, pumsh p t, tail. It is pronounced as a homorganic nasal, with the preceding vowel becoming nasalized allophonically, in the following cases, between a long vowel and a voiced plosive tamba ta and ba, copper, kamdi ta ndi, silver, between a long vowel and a voiceless plosive in loanwords damped da nt, repressed, bame b ash k, a bank, kazamsi k za t, and between a short vowel and an obstruent symbol smibia l, to support. Samdik sindu k a chest. The last rule has two sets of exceptions where the anusvara affects only a nasalization of the preceding short vowel. Words from the first set are morphologically derived from words with a long nasalized vowel, bamt b to be divided, from bamt ba to divide, simkai s tai irrigation, from sim s to irrigate. In such cases, the vowel is sometimes denasalized b, sti, instead of b, s, ti. 
The second set is composed of a few words like pahum pa to arrive and hams hs to laugh. Topic: <laughs> Nepali. Topic: In Nepali, Chandrabindu and Anisvara have the same pronunciation similarly to Hindi. Therefore, there is a great deal of variation regarding which occurs in any given position. Many words containing anisvara thus have alternative spellings with Chandrabindu instead of anisvara and vice versa. Other Indic script languages Anisvara is used in other languages using Indic scripts as well, usually to represent suprasegmental phones such as phonation type or nasalization or other nasal sounds. Topic: <inaudible> Bengali. Topic: In the Eastern Nagari script, the Anisvara diacritic Anusbara Anishar in Bengali is written as a circle above a slanted line M and represents it is used in the name of the Bengali language Banla Bala. It has merged in pronunciation with the letter na and go in Bengali. Although the Anisvara is a consonant in Bengali phonology, it is nevertheless treated in the written system as a diacritic in that it is always directly adjacent to the preceding consonant, even when consonants are spaced, apart in titles or banners. Bamla de sa bangla de shish, not ba emla de sa ba ingla de shish for Bangladesh Bangladesh it is never pronounced with the inherent vowel. Oh and it cannot take a vowel sign instead, the consonant na and go is used pre-vocalically. <inaudible> Burmese In the Burmese script, the anisvara, thak myat ipa, a, is represented as a dot underneath a nasalized final to indicate a creaky tone with a shortened vowel. Burmese also uses a dot above to indicate the nasalized ending called Myanmar sign Anisvara in Unicode called Thay Thay Tin IPA Theta E acute A T Topic Sinhala Topic In the Sinhala script the Anisvara is not a diacritic but an independent grapheme It has circular shape which is why it is called Binduva in Sinhala which means dot The Anisvara represents at the end of a syllable. It is used in the name of the Sinhala language, Sil. It has merged in pronunciation with the letter na in Sinhala. Telugu The Telugu script has full zero and visarga to convey various shades of nasal sounds. Anisvara is represented as a circle shape after a letter, ka ka and kam kam. Thai The equivalent of the Anisvara in the Thai alphabet is the Nikhad, which is used when rendering Sanskrit and Pali texts. It is written as an open circle above the consonant for example x and its pronunciation depends on the following sound if it is a consonant then the nikhaid is pronounced as a homorganic nasal and if it is at the end of a word it is pronounced as the velar nasal topic anunasika topic anunasika anunasika is a form of vowel nasalization often represented by an anisvara it is a form of open-mouthed nasalization, akin to the nasalization of vowels followed by n or m in Parisian French. When n or m follow a vowel, the n or m becomes silent and causes the preceding vowel to become nasal pronounced with the soft palate extended downward so as to allow part or all of the air to leave through the nostrils. Anunasika is sometimes called a subdot because of its IAST representation. In Devanagari and related orthographies, it is represented by the Chandrabindu diacritic example. In Burmese, the Anunasika, called IPA, theta e acute at and represented as creates the nasalized ending when it is attached as a dot above a letter. The Anunasika represents the M final in Pali. <laughs> Unicode 
Unicode encodes Anasvara and Anasvara like characters for a variety of scripts. Topic. See also. Topic. Chandrabindu. Tilde. Oganik. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Allen, W. S. 1953. Phonetics in Ancient India. O. U. P. Emino, M. B. 1946. The Nasal Phonemes of Sanskrit. Language. 22 86-93. doi. 10.2307, 410341. JSTOR 410341. Monier Williams, Monier 1899. A Sanskrit English Dictionary, Etymologically and Philologically Arranged with Special Reference to Cognate Indo-European Languages. Oxford, Clarendon Press. Ohala, Manjari 1983, Aspects of Hindi Phonology, Mutilal Banarsidass, ISBN 0-89581-670-9 Varma, Siddeshwar Critical Studies in the Phonetic Observations of Indian Grammarians. James G. Forlong Fund. Delhi, Munshi Ram Manohar Lal. <laughs>